Hey everyone. I'm, uh, I'm not sure if you can hear it, but the wind's howling outside. It's a pretty foul day outside today. So I thought I would uh, show you something that I've had for a couple of weeks now, but I haven't done anything with. Uh, so when I, when I was uh, down in Victoria last, I went down and saw Marty and Mikey and the other boys down at Burley Pro and went and showed them this boat here, which was uh, brand new to me at the time. Uh, it's only been in the water now half a dozen times and, uh, and they measured it up and they've manufactured one of these for it which is a bumper bro so this is the bumper bro to fit the attack 120 now there is a difference between the uh, the bow of a, an attack 120 and the bow of an attack 140 they're not quite the same so anyway, we're going to do this one, and then for my Attack 140, we're going to get the um, the Bumper Bro knocked up for one of those as well. But you need to hang tight on that one. Anyway, this boat, as I said, has only been in the water like half a dozen times. Uh, and if you're fishing around rocks, oyster leases, any sort of underwater structure that's uh, uh, that's hard, right, you will damage the bow of your kayak. Uh, I'm I constantly clean the bow of my kayak down um, and in fact my 140 has got a uh, keel guard which runs up and along here which is a, a vinyl adhesive. I replace that every year because uh, it just gets knocked about so much but without that the hull would be quite badly damaged. Now if you have a look here, as I said hopefully you'll be able to see this um, just there. You can see how much scuffing that, uh, that the bow has taken and that's only been out half a dozen times. And if I was to heat this up and mould it with a, with a heat gun, which I'm not going to do, but it would, all, it would all clean it back up. All I'm doing at the moment is I'm just going, getting rid of some of the burrs. And then I'm going to show you how to fit a Burley Pro Bumper Bro to a kayak, this kayak in particular. It has to be, what they are is they're a, a very hard plastic shell and it's, um, what they've done is they've measured up the bow of the kayak uh, and this is now designed to fit on the bow of the kayak like that, you glue it on right, and it protects everything right up to that point. So what you need to do is give the bumper bro a bit of a clean up on the sanding paper. The reason you need to do that is to make sure that it's got uh, uh, the adhesive sticks to it better. And then mark, I'm just using a whiteboard marker, so you need to get it to sit in the sweet spot. Uh, as you can see I can actually move it backwards and forwards. But you need it right in that sweet spot, and that's where you need to you need to mark it so that you can get it into that position straight away when you put it on. But also just above that point there, you can go and rough up the surface of the, the polyethylene hull and it will give the adhesive you don't have to do it much and if you're worried you can always Run over this with a heat gun and it'll clean up all the stretch marks where you won't even know they were there. Okay, give it a wipe with your hand. And then you need to use a marine adhesive and it's got to be one that can be used underwater. So you just want to put a nice solid bead all the way around, just down from the top. Um, this is the first of the bumper bros for a wilderness kayak. So 
So it's a bit of a thing being the first. I can tell you now, having owned natives and so on, guys with natives and hobies swear by these things. And I've been using Keel Easy, the Keel Guard on my, the tape on my wilderness kayaks for years now. But this is like a hard shell. Okay, so you line it with your adhesive, your marine adhesive, and then using your marks, and this is why the other reason you need to have your marks is because you need to get it to sit down firmly. You can always run a bead of silicon around the edge, should you want to. Just make sure that your marks are in the right spot, which they are. Now, to keep some pressure on it, you need to tape it. That will just keep pressure on it overnight while it sets. And that's it. And as I said, you can always run around the edge and finish it off with a, a little bead of, uh, of silicon. You actually wouldn't need to use the marine adhesive, but you know you can. You could use any sort of silicon that's in that's going to survive the particularly the salt water. So Burley Pro Bro Bumper Bro, Burley Pro Bumper Bro. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description box below the video uh, to their website. Um, it's just gone up onto their website now, so you'll be able to you'll be able to uh, see it. And uh, any any uh, Burley Pro dealer, or in fact, most of your kayak shops that are into fishing, they tend to deal with Burley Pro anyway. So you can either go direct or through your local local kayak shop. Thoroughly recommend these things. Gives you a hard, very hard shell on the front of your kayak. If you read some of the other forums, uh, Native, um, Hobie, and so on, you hear people dropping the kayaks off the back of their pickup trucks. The kayak landing on the ground and running along the ground and these things survive and keep the kayak in one piece so great bit of kit really really necessary thanks for watching i'm bill from rod and paddle you, you let the guys at burley pro know that i've put you onto them